Toastmasters, when was the last time you built a resume for yourself? Did you find it challenging to list all your skills and talents? How did your resume look? Did it show off who you are? Were the words on the piece of paper authentic to you? Today, I wanna to share with you what I have learned after making many, many resumes and using them as an effective communication tool. Thanks to resumes, I've landed a grand total of 12 jobs since the age of 12. So what have I learned and how far have I come? My first resume might have looked something like this. It was 1990 something and I had just landed my babysitter's license and my big dream was to work at Camp Shagaback as a camp counselor in training. A totally unpaid gig that would occupy two weeks of my summer. My skills included being responsible, liking kids, and I had about six years of attending camp myself. Of course I got the job. And to the best of my knowledge at that time, a resume was nothing that Microsoft Word Art could make fabulous in about an hour or less. My next resume might have came together a little something like this with some more mature fonts and some built out skills. A solid list of my capabilities helped me land work all the way to college. When I began my post-secondary arts and design studies, something happened that began to make me feel a little less confident about my resume. I found myself surrounded by people I absolutely aspired to be. They were bountiful in experiences, wisdom, and qualifications, and I felt less adequate. How would I compete with that in the real world? However, an all-important lesson about making your resumes creative changed me. Especially in my chosen field, creativity and proving you can think outside the box is everything. We had this one graphic design class where our professor shared with us some innovative resumes with cheeky slogans, interesting designs, and some really out there ideas. How about a resume with sent with a box of chocolates to sweeten up whoever may be on the receiving end. How about a resume with instructions on how to fold it into a paper airplane and tips to fly it right into the trash when you're done? I was in love with these ideas. Resumes would be changed forever after that class for me. They were now a canvas where I could literally paint my skills and sing my accolades. And I might have taken that quite literally. It's a good thing I ended up feeling so passionate about resumes because guess what was happening in the world when I needed to start applying for work experience to finish my degree? A recession and absolutely no one was hiring. But I kept my chin up and I doubled down. I recorded in my little notebook that I applied to a total of 87 businesses over a couple of years and successfully landed three positions to complete my degree. When you build that many resumes, you try a lot of things. Some were just designed nicely on your standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, and others were extremely creative with interactive and interesting elements. I think some of my wild ones were a little less effective than the plain ones, but there's no way I was going to give up on the fun and sometimes incredibly silly side of marketing myself. After I did get some good design experience under my belt, I decided to apply to a graphic design job in Saskatoon and guess who was hiring? None other than my graphic design professor from college. I already knew the assignment, make it memorable. So Toastmasters, I share with you this morning, my prototype resume, I so affectionately call my soup can resume. I carefully recreated the label of a Campbell soup can with my own little twist. So let's take a look. Shayla's condensed qualifications. Where the nutrition label should be is my work experience. The ingredients are my soft skills. Oh, and there's directions. Review, interview, and be inspired by this uniquely qualified designer. Enjoy the perfect blend of design and print production experienced, seasoned with great knowledge of the graphic design industry. Oh, and we've got some features here. 
No artificial colors or flavors. Two full servings of creativity in every bowl. Works well with others and tastes like a delicious mix of positivity and sweet success. Have questions or concerns about the product? Well, we've got some contact information right here on the side of the label. After I had completed this project, I carefully printed the label on gloss paper to look like the real Campbell soup can. I affixed it to a tomato soup can, carefully packaged it into a professionally printed box, and I threw in a Campbell-esque style cover letter as well. And I waited for a call. You might be wondering why a humble soup can. At the time I thought, you know, both me and a soup can are kind of plain in appearance, but on the inside, there's a soulful, hearty, hardworking, predictable and reliable product. Yeah, at the time it was a good fit. At last came the call from my previous teacher. Shayla, he said, we just about threw out your application. We thought someone had ordered a mishap from Amazon. How did you do it? What a great conversation starter. We reminisced and we shared and I didn't get the job after all. However, it wasn't all for nothing. Isn't the real purpose of a great resume to start a conversation with your next potential employer? Did my crazy idea gift me the experience of a call and a chance to land an interview? Sure did. So Toastmasters, I implore you today to not be afraid to be a bit extra with your next resume. Go for authentic. You might be surprised what becomes of it. And if you're an employer, I ask you this. When the next out of the box resume comes across your desk, can you imagine what other talents that person is going to bring to the position? Go ahead, give them a call.